What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm late again, you guys aren't surprised, but this time I was literally stuck on an airplane on some manifest shit. Whatever that show is called is what I felt like. I was stuck in an airplane, then I got stuck in an airport, then the airport was closed and they had to take me to another airport and then I missed my next flight, that was the layover flight, and then I got stuck. So boom, it took me a whole day just to come back to LA. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing in this video. I'm just gonna vlog and I'm gonna skedaddle. I'm on my way to Cool Kicks right now. I gotta go return something at Maxfield because I changed my mind. I did not like how it looked on me. So I'm about to go do that. Maybe I'll get something else. And I got some stuff at Gallery that I have to show you guys because my buddy told me they have good stuff. So I went to buy some stuff. But let's get straight into this because I made you guys wait long enough. So let's just go. Before I get into this video, I need to tell you guys this story about me getting trapped in Denver, in the air, whatever you want to call it. So I was on my way back from Miami, coming to LA. We are in the air, going to Denver, because I had a layover. We are 10, 20 minutes from landing in Denver. The people say, oh, we're going to stay in the air for 20 minutes because there's a storm. I'm sitting there having a panic attack, so we can't land in Denver. We're just sitting in the air close to Denver. Time passes, and they're like, you know what? They're closing down the airport. I'm going to take you guys to Texas. I'm like, am I in a movie right now? So I'm supposed to land in Denver. They take us to Texas. Not even Houston, not even Dallas. They took us to Amarillo. So we go to Amarillo. We land there. We are there for two hours. Mind you, this is the seventh, eighth hour I'm in this plane. Then they're like, oh, we need to get fuel because we weren't in the air for so long. Two hours passed, we're ready to go, we're taking off. Why did a bird go into the little engine, the wing, and it stunk up the whole plane? Like, it killed the bird. It went in there, and I was just like, I am in a movie right now. I was like, please, just God, please just get me home. Like, so we're taking off, the plane smells like dead bird now. We're in the air, then they say, oh, all the other planes that were trying to land in Denver are landing now, now we have to wait. I'm like, I'm having a pen attack. There's turbulence from the storm. There's a bird smell. I'm, I, we finally land in Denver. We're rushing to catch a layover flight. My flight left. It's already 9 p.m. I run across and I'm like, what's the next flight out? I need the next flight out. They're like, the next flight out's at 10, but it's a full flight. I'm like, okay, just put me on standby. Like, I need to get home. I've been in the air for nine hours, the airport. The 10 p.m. flight takes off and I couldn't get on it. So now I am stuck in the airport. I'm like, well, what's the next flight out? Six in the morning. So you guys, I was in the air from 3 p.m., went to the airport. So at this point, this whole flying thing is probably like 15 hours. So I sleep on the airport floor. It was so uncomfortable. And mind you, I landed very late. So all the restaurants are closing. The bars are closing. So it's literally just sitting there. So I'm sleeping, I'm making FaceTime calls to entertain myself, and finally, six, seven in the morning, I finally get the flight. I land in LA, then I gotta go to work. It shouldn't have taken me 15 hours to get from Miami to Los Angeles. And that is why this vlog is a little late because my schedule didn't work out as planned. But that was my story time for y'all. Okay, y'all, so the whole point I went back to Maxfield was to also pick up a skirt that said it was ready for me. But as I was returning the jacket, I got distracted and I got more stuff and I left the skirt that I originally was supposed to go pick up. That was why I went. So now I gotta go back. But I have an appointment right now to go look at an apartment, so I'm gonna take y'all with me because, oh my god, my eye bags are so bad. Mind you guys, I was in the airport for 20 hours. But I have to go look at an apartment right now because my lease is up in two weeks and I have not found an apartment. You guys know I'm a last minute queen, so let's go. And then I'm just gonna have to go back to Maxfield and pick up the skirt. But I also made a pit stop because, you know, you can't just keep going your day without Starbucks. But anyways, I can't wait to show you guys this. I just returned something and I made a big exchange because I felt really ignorant wearing the jacket because of the cost of the jacket. It just, I couldn't do it. So I got smaller pieces that equaled the amount of the one jacket. It just, it wasn't for me. I felt too ignorant. I felt like it, I don't know. But I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So my luck, they don't have the one I want. I wanted a one bedroom with the balcony, but they only have a studio with the balcony. So look how small this is. Here's the kitchen. So you walk in right there, the kitchen. The, this is the room, aka the living room, the dining room. It's all of that. 
with the balcony they showed me. And then you walk over here, there's a gigantic closet. Y'all could have made this into a bedroom, but whatever. And the restroom and the shower. Don't think I'm feeling it, but I gotta keep looking because like I said, I have to be out of my crib in two weeks. So let's just, apartment gods just, so I am finally back home. I look a mess because it's so hot outside and ignore my skin. Miami messed my skin up so bad. It's crazy. So I'm just going to talk to you guys like this. Just casually watching Sweet Life in the background. But I'm not even watching it. I just need white noise. Anyways, so y'all know I took a jacket back and a skirt for taking two things back. This is what I got in return. I was able to leave with like a Balenciaga bag, Balenciaga pants, Miu Miu two-piece, all this stuff for just taking two items back. And what I mean to tell you guys, when I put that jacket on, I felt so ignorant. I couldn't even wear it. It's like, why is this jacket so much? Don't get me wrong. I was so in love with that jacket, but it was something that I just couldn't find myself to wear that jacket just because I knew I could get other smaller stuff for a price of what one thing was. So I just, it just, it didn't feel right in my stomach. So I took it back, but I left with some cool stuff. I still miss the jacket, but it's okay. I would do a try on haul for y'all, but I already did that for you guys last video. But now I'm going to go through my closet, start getting rid of stuff because I move in two weeks. And I definitely know I have a lot of junk that I either don't wear or is just random. And anytime I go through my clothes and there's a lot of stuff I don't wear anymore or I get rid of or I take it to a shelter or I give it to my mom to take it to a shelter, I do not throw away any of my clothes because obviously that's... You put two and two. It's just, that's not what you're supposed to do. So my mom takes it to shelters or she gives it to young girls that need clothes and all that stuff because I give away sweats, t-shirts, all that stuff, you know. So I'm about to do that. I already have two bags of clothes ready to go to a shelter. So if any of y'all know shelters out here in Los Angeles that I can just go dump these clothes, comment down below because I always do this. Or my mom does it for me because she's really good at it. I don't know how, but she takes it to the right people. It's getting real hectic in here, y'all. I have all that stuff over there. This is going to a shelter. I believe that's junk because I'm a hoarder. This is my new stuff. That's my, like, I probably look a hot mess right now, so please ignore me. But I am stressing out because I'm doing all this, and I don't even have a place to stay yet. But I'm going to keep updating y'all because this room has to get together because if I leave all this stuff out, my dog will have a ball. So it's currently 9.30, I am exhausted. I'm waiting to go get dinner with Tati. As you can see, I'm a little dressed up. Just ignore my room the next two weeks. The background is just gonna be messy regardless, but look at my cute little fit. Let's give me school, girl. But anyways, this obviously isn't the full fit. I'm gonna put on little boots and I'm gonna take cute pics because I haven't posted a pic in three weeks. I am slacking. Anyways, Tati is taking her sweet ass time, so I'm very bored. So I'm probably gonna make TikToks right now, but I will take y'all with me tonight. So. <coughs> <coughs> I just choked on air. Goodbye. So, of course, it's dark in here, so I have to use my phone. But we made it. Okay, obviously, you guys, I couldn't show you guys my good ass food because it was so dark in there. But you guys get the point. It was called Melrose Place. It was my first time there. I got a uh, Caesar salad with salmon, and Tati had got a pasta. It was amazing. I wish I could have showed y'all, but boo. Anyways, I just got out of physical therapy so tired of this anyways i'm not even you guys know i've been doing this for a long time so my dumb self since these gallery sets fit me so long like i'm supposed to be six feet i dirtied the hell out of these and i just got these you guys probably saw my story these just dropped the black pair and i took them to miami and i decided to wear them on a boat why i don't know but I stepped in a puddle, so now the bottom of this smells disgusting because, like I said, these are meant to be worn for six feet, people. This literally covers my whole feet. So now I gotta go take them to the freaking cleaners, and it is hot as hell. Okay, y'all, life update. I'm home, dropped off my stuff, picked up my skirt from Maxfield because I was trying on a skirt yesterday, and I broke the zipper. But, but in my defense, I just tugged the thing too hard. It definitely fits me. I just, I, I'm, I'm too strong. Anyways... So I'm home now. I just applied for an apartment. I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm applying now because time is ticking. Let's just hope I get it and then hopefully I like it. I seen the video of it and it looked good. We're just gonna pray to the apartment gods that I get approved and I go look at it and I like it. It's not even available till August 7th, so I still have a whole week and then I have to move in three days later. So there's my turn of events and my spiraling two weeks of my life. 
But now I might go to the cool because they just posted some gallery sweats and I think I want them. Yes, I have a shopping addiction. Don't mind me, but that's the life I live. That's the lifestyle I'm in. I literally work in streetwear and shoe wear. What do y'all expect from me? So apparently on my days off, I like to come to the cool. So I have two items here that were on hold for me. And we're about to see what this stuff looks like. This shit look big as heck, so I don't even know if I'm going to like it. So first we have these little gallery sweats. Did you see the collection they posted today? No. Oh, you got to go look. Hold on, y'all. Oh, these feel tight. Yeah, medium? what size are those? A medium? Oh, no. Oh, there's a good. Good. Yeah, I'm going to take them. So this is going to be a go. Feel me? <laughs> what? Damn, what did it scoot it out from? It looked cool in the picture though. You look crazy right now. This is called the ultimate hype beast. She got that uh, gallery body bag on. This is ugly. That's not cute. It's not ugly. It's no, just it's a little ugly. too big. This shit is ugly. Bro, this is a small. This is like a six foot two. Is this like the men's section or something? Yeah. The men's section? It has to be. Yeah, it's a men's city. You think I could walk on men's yoga? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, everything. Nah, yeah, I This girl just <laughs> shops and shops and shops. In my defense, it's the work field I'm in. If you work at Pueblo Loco, aren't you going to eat like Pueblo Loco all the time? I don't know. If you work at a Did taco you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> See, if you work at a taco shop, you're going to eat tacos. If you work at Lou, you know what I'm You see what I'm going. <laughs> but, hey, this is really hard. What? You don't need no more clothes or shoes. <laughs> Dude, you don't need nothing. You got nothing. Never say never. And where the fuck did you come from? I came from Pakistan. From oh, Lahore, Pakistan. <laughs> My mom got me born in 1991. That, like, anyways, are you trying to change right now? Yeah, I'm trying to change. Um, but I'm supposed to be finding Man, my wife like tonight. I don't like my button up because you are a female species and you when I walked in you didn't like it. I didn't like your energy of how you looked at me and you family. So if a family member is looking at me that way, imagine a stranger. They're gonna be honest with you. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's, it's like, I look, want y'all to be honest. It's, it's, not, it's just not. It's not giving. You can't do a Gucci with, like gallery pants. It's just in white Air Force. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I need you help. You have to so, put like regular so, so nice part, jeans. So part of your little segment, can you help me find the top? I told you a white top. What do you think about this? <laughs> no. You need like a white top. I just told you you're wearing white jeans. Hey. No. No. You're dressed like somebody's no. daddy. The first thing he pulled out was this. Like what the? Like be for real. If it's not hard, then why'd you buy it? Wear a white. That was good. You look kind of big, but it goes. It goes actually. This look big. I see the vision though. You know, we're in our favorite place. I was about to say that. Oh my god, we made it to our favorite place. <laughs> so we left the cool. I'm going to show you guys what I bought when I got home, obviously. But we're about to spend some time in here. See what we, see what we leave with. I'm only looking for trash bags. Extra large. Heavy duty. So we'll see what I... Loud ass fucking... On another note, on my way here, I was listening to the Travis Scott album. Wow, that one song, whatever, with Drake was spaz and I didn't even get out the car. So that shit ended. Why are you just looking at the... Where's the little boy picture? It's gone. Why are trash bags $20? For $20? Yes. It's gonna go in the trash. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. But you guys know we're moving, so we're gonna need these to throw a bunch of stuff out or just move our stuff. So let's, we should just be prepared. Already? Huh? You told them we're moving already? Yeah. Oh, earlier? We had a good run, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're not friends anymore. We're gonna actually. have to do a goodbye, YouTube. I'm huh? <laughs> just kidding. Mission accomplished. I only left Target with two items, which are trash bag and razors. But I do have to show you guys what I got from the pool. So I did end up getting the sweats. I got a medium because I'm a medium in all gallery pants and stuff. And I got the Grateful Dead hoodie. Check this out. Like, look at the detail. And on this side, obviously, it says gallery. And on the back, it says gallery. Like, look at the colors. You feel me? And then I got this at Gallery Department. I forgot to show you guys. It's a gallery crop top. They finally made gallery crop tops. And, you know, I had to get one because when I wear my gallery shirts, I fold them anyways into a crop top. 
They're working with the girls now, you feel me? Before I end this vlog, I really want you guys to see my vision. So you guys see, it says grateful in orange. You guys see, you see the washed? I'm gonna wear light jeans. You could probably guess what shoes I'm gonna pull out. You can take a guess. You, you see the vision. Look at this. Do you see this? Do you see the, y'all see it. Don't play with me. Okay, I really gotta get my life together, so I'm gonna end this vlog and handle all this mess in my room. I gotta throw stuff away still and start to really pack these bags because when I moved last year, I waited till two days before I had to move and I went my ham. So I'm just gonna start a little early. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all comment below what y'all wanna see next because clearly my life is in shambles right now. But I love y'all and we're in this movement, moving situation together. Like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all.